of that tongue. It's like dirt. kind of snakes, they like to be up in these, these trees. This is an amazing amount of Spanish moss. There's like rat snakes, and rat snakes and things like that around here too. So sometimes they like to even crawl up in these trees. And the bark, as you can tell, is really thick. So they can really get an easy grip on it. It'll be no problem at all for them. Hey Jude, you find anything? Trees don't always have hair. In Ohio, trees don't usually have hair, do they, Dad? No, they don't. Did you know what the uh, tree said to the field? It said bark. Wait, why is that funny? Tree bark. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was funny. Don't encourage him. <laughs> <laughs> little teeny tiny air plant. I love it. He's so cute. I love you. I think I want to name it Bradley. Yeah. So the, can you show me the manatees go from where to where? From all the way up here? Yeah. 50 or 60 miles all the way down. And if you saw it here in the front of the canal, that's about it. That's crazy. Wow. Thank you. How's the mosquito population going there, Andrew? Dominating. <laughs> so it's starting to get pretty dark here and uh, we're gonna be road cruising. So here's a road. We're just gonna be cruising along. And uh, we got our flashlights. We're gonna see if we can find some reptiles on this road. But I just wanted to stop here because it's uh, super pretty. If you can see back in there. But looks to me like it could be a pretty good place to find some animals. We almost saw a crocodile and a manatee. Uh, we went to Flamingo. Flamingo in the Everglades there. And uh, actually that guy right there, we met him. And he is really good at finding reptiles around in our area. So. We might have to stop back here another time, maybe in a half a year or maybe a year, and uh, go out with him and find some reptiles. I'm pretty excited about that. This is tough land, but right over here in the pond, we found some cool spiders. I'll show you. Can you spot the spiders? One, two, three, four, five, six, count six spiders seven eight wow this is like a little family of spiders check out the little bumps on them I love the textured skin so cool It's like really soft. It's like dirt. It's like super thin mud. There goes my foot. Poof. There was a barred owl. Do you hear the barred owl? I did. Look at these branches. Just all coming down. Coming down roots. A roach. You do. It's a beautiful one. Yeah. Look how pretty that roach is. That looks pretty yummy, doesn't it? If you were a reptile. Wow. Really good. Alright, I go let's go around and on back. You ready, Captain? I saw a frog. Yeah, he's gone. Frog was about this big. Pretty athletic. Did not appear to be a tree frog. So uh, it's a good sign that when we're road cruising tonight that we might find more frogs. So I'm encouraged by that. Oh, 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 oh. Nothing. Just a red leaf that I thought was a reflection of an alligator eyeball. Ready? Super cute. Well, hello. He looks like he's gonna jump, but I'm gonna encourage him to come visit me. That tan color is really cool. Whoa! Hi. Mm -hmm. 
very small toe pads. Different tree frogs have different sized toe pads. This is pretty small. Look at that eye, how the top part of it is gold. And then it's more of a bronze, coppery color underneath that, that pupil. Pretty crazy. The pupil can get bigger and smaller, of course, depending on the light, which is kind of interesting. Ah, look at him breathing. A glitter fluttering when it goes up and down, up and down their little throat. So cute. <laughs> I love his little jump. Ah, you're so cute. I love you. <laughs> oh, hi. Yeah. Hi. Beautiful frog, you. Thank you for coming and saying hi to us tonight. It's just hoping to find something as precious as you. See a little light? That is alligator eyeballs. And there's one right there. All right, oh guys, check this out. We have this cotton mouth here. So what happened is we were driving along and we saw there was a car stop and it was this really nice guy. He was stopping to help get the snake off the road so people didn't hit it, which was awesome because it signaled to us that there was a snake here, so that was great. And uh, you can tell he's a cotton mouth for a few different reasons. But if you look at his back, see those uh, those dark markings? They pinch in toward the center and they expand on the outside. Wow, check out, see his fangs? So cool. So, those dark markings look like hourglasses if you see them, um, you know, from the top down. So that's how you can tell that it is a cotton mouth or copperheads have that too. And of course, he has that cotton colored mouth in there as well. Hey, buddy. But there's a, some other snakes that also have white in their mouth. But this one is obviously an aggressive uh, species, so they like to display. But his aggression is a little bit more like, hi, I'm here with my mouth open, not like I'm gonna chase you down and bite you or something like that. So when we say aggressive, it's more like defensive because he just doesn't wanna get, you know, stepped on or killed or anything like that. Like, you know, I wouldn't either. So it's essentially like a big guy is coming to attack me and I'm like, ha! You know, not like I'm going to chase them down to attack them or something like that. So relatively aggressive, more like defensive. Uh, but dude, check out his fangs, pretty sweet. And he is a pit viper. So you might be able to see, easy baby. You might be able to see between his eyes and his nose, he has a, a pit, a heat sensing pit. So they can feel temperature with that. All right. Hey, I know you were warming up here, but we're gonna have to move off the road. Wow, that's so cool. Check that out. Look at that tongue. Can we go back to that dull color? Wow. Got him going. Come on. All right, yeah, I'd probably keep moving him into the grass there, hun. Nice hook. <laughs> Woo! Right back into the water. That's cool. Oops. Wow. That's so cool. Check out him. Check it out. Him just moving through the water like that. That's awesome. So cool. This is really, really beautiful to see. Look at him going. It's all nature. All right, guys. He's gone. Hey, Andrew, how'd yeah. you feel about that? It was a lot of fun. It was a venomous snake and handling a venomous snake. Not with my hands, of course, but with my hook. Uh, it was just a lot of fun. It felt powerful, moving a powerful animal off of the road and where it needs to go. Pretty awesome, I have to say, pretty awesome. But it was a lot of fun being coached by Marissa, who's done this other times. And, uh, you know, I wonder if it's a descendant of that last cottonmouth that you saw when you were here in the airport. <laughs> On our YouTube channel, that other cottonmouth video. Right, yep. Yeah. Could be give it a watch. Acted exactly the same. Probably hereditary. High five. <laughs> Woohoo! Herpin. Awesome.